gunnery and architecture of Euclid is his only geometry. But there is another geometry which I am engaged in discovering through trial and error. Am I not, Septimus? Trial and error perfectly describes your enthusiasm, my lady. How old are you today? Sixteen years and eleven months, Mama, and three weeks. Sixteen years and eleven months. We must have you married before you're educated beyond eligibility. People were talking about the end of physics. Relativity and quantum looked as if they were going to clean out the whole problem between them, a theory of everything. But they only explained the very big and the very small, the universe, the elementary particles, the ordinary sized stuff which is our lives. The things people write poetry about. Clouds, daffodils, waterfalls, and what happens in a cup of coffee when the cream goes in. These things are full of mystery. As mysterious to us as the heavens were to the Greeks. You have insulted my wife. Insulted her? Well, that would deny my nature, my conduct, and the admiration in which I hold Mrs. Chater. I have heard of your admiration, sir. You insulted my wife in the gazebo yesterday evening. Uh, you are mistaken, sir. I made love to your wife in the gazebo. <laughs> she asked me to meet her there. I have a note somewhere, I dare say. I can find it for you. If someone is putting it about I did not turn up, then by God, sir, that is a slam. <laughs> I can't think of anything more trivial than the speed of light. Quarks, quasar, big bag, black hole. Who gives that shit? How many people can't us out of all that status, all that money? And why are you so pleased with yourself? Are you against penicillin, Bernard? <laughs> sex and literature. Literature and sex. Your conversation left to itself doesn't have many places to go. Like two marbles rolling around a pudding base and one of them is always sex. Men. Ah, well, yes. Einstein, relativity and sex. Chippendale, sex and furniture. <laughs> Galileo, did the earth move? 